Um, Molly from the UK has a question for Candace. Why does she seem to relish in being so nasty to Ashley about her postpartum body? I relish in being nasty to someone. Can you just address what who he has asked? been nasty just to me? Just address. I'm what speaking. Was I didn't speak when you were speaking at all. I was actually offended by the wide body comment. This woman just pushed out a human being, so and, you're, and you are making reference to her postpartum body. I, no, but I, I feel like it. Candace knew where to jab to make it hurt, and it and wasn't And they were about going back and forth, and, that, and she's body. very good at that. Um. Marissa from St. Louis said, Ashley, you considered what Candace said as body shaming. Do you consider what Michael says about your body the same? Hmm. There was a moment in the car that he seemed to be really critiquing your post-baby body that people felt was really disrespectful for a husband to be saying to his wife who had just had a child. Okay, first, I'm gonna need your, your Bob to stop weaving because really, he wasn't saying it offensively. What you said was purposefully offensive. It's important to me personally to get back into shape. It's one of the things that my husband and I share. We are physical together, we work out together. So I don't think he's being derogatory. I think that he's also saying something that I share that I expressed to him myself. Britt from Perth, Australia said, Candace, what's your obsession with Ashley's breast milk? Do you make rude comments about being a mother because you're jealous? Yes, I'm so jealous of Ashley becoming a mom before me. <laughs> <laughs> She's okay. a nut. Wait a minute. That nuts. was scary. <laughs> just, that was scary. I just know that when it's Candace's time, I think it will be humbling for her, and I think you'll be apologizing to me. No, I won't. Yes, you will. I Get over it. I'm a black woman, and she has made comments about my hair being dry. I talk about your forehead all the time. I Jesus talk about Christ. your dry-ass hair all the time. Look oh, at my face sitting on your head. Christ. Should I be offended by that? We you get dry have, hair. You have a privilege being a lighter-skinned woman hold on, hold on, hold on. with yeah. looser curls. This, this issue is, of colorism get, has got to be addressed to right here and, and now. Coming up... You came out of Ashley, your mouth and called me Ashley. a slave. Earn your check did. a different way. Girl, I got my check before you sat your ass on this couch, okay? Yep. Yes, I got yes, it then. I'm gonna get it now, and, and I'm gonna keep it. it. Earn it, okay? <laughs>a black woman and she has made comments about my hair being dry. I talk about your forehead all the time. I Jesus talk about Christ. your dry ass hair all the time. Look oh, at my face sitting on your head. Should I be offended by that? We you, get have, you have a privilege being a lighter hold skinned on, woman on, hold on, hold on. with yeah, looser yeah. curls. The this point issue is, of colorism you know, has got to be addressed to, right here you know, and now. I have never denied that light skin privilege and white privilege both exist. I am a biracial woman. I can't do anything about it, I Candace. can't do anything about so being a dark skinned woman with 4C hair. You always it's take the conversation between us to be about color. I don't There's bring that nothing. up. So do you think I'm that, not the one that so, brings so that up. So since you brought it up, I just have a question I'd for you. I'd love to. Do you think that colorism exists within this group? I don't I feel as though one. colorism exists within this and group. That is what I call your privilege. How can you say that colorism exists within society, but then this group is void of it? because I don't see any demonstrations of where colorism takes place. Because there are perceptions held within society, yeah. they try to project things in this group oh. that I don't think naturally exist. Hmm. That, apply that to everything that you say that I do and say that's offensive. A lot of that comes from an audience that wants to impress where they are in their lives. No, onto you called us. me a slave. A slave? You, you, you called really said me that a slave. No, I didn't. That's not a projection. Did that's not, not an interpretation. No, that's not the outside I did not coming you in. That's you saying it out of when your mouth. When did she call you a slave? No, I didn't. You said at Michael the, drives his slaves. Dinner, at the next oh, dinner, right. you call Michael a and slave then you driver. Your drink. What do you say about him? Listen. You call him a slave driver? Because he drives his slaves. So you're calling me a slave? No, I didn't. I tweeted two years ago that Michael, something about him being an overseer. You took it upon yourself because you have nothing else going on. No, to because bring you were talking that about up. Chris. You have that was talked just about an Chris. example. And your husband has talked about my husband and okay, responded so to the Michael disrespect. Michael calling Chris white trash and the is one thing. A white man talking to a white man, but you came out of Ashley, your mouth and called me a Ashley, slave. You're I'm the one who it wrote you. it. This is you not earn, taking earn accountability your again and again and again. Girl, I got my check before you sat your ass on this couch, okay? Yes, I got it then. I'm going to get it now. And you need to continue to earn it. Okay? You need to earn it on your own terms. And I do. Your own term. I do. You Not are the on person me. who chooses to make me, me the I, subject I of your no discussions. I have no issues with you. You, you want to fight with me. But you, you did. Ain't got but going you did. On.
Earn but a check did. a different way. No, because you Earn continually a say things that, that just a irked way. me. Not You're intending to offend me. But you have done really up things to me. I'm not gonna cry. And I hold those grudges. What did I do to offend you? She made the statement for Monique. Monique did ask me to write a statement. <laughs> you. You, Ashley. It was vindictive. It wasn't to hurt you. It, it was, it to, was hurt to seal me. that. Can you receive that you. she did not no, want no, to hurt you? No. I really didn't think she would care, honestly. Y'all are holding up our group. We, I'm gonna need y'all to get over there. Oh, we still have a good right. We can yeah. still have fun. Well, yeah. I, I want to talk about that because you guys <laughs> had a big night out in New York recently, I heard. We did. We did. Fashion week. Yeah. Ashley is a fun girl. Yeah. I have never not said that. So you were able to move past yeah. all I'm, of this. I'm able to so put fun. things to the side. I'm not able to, I can't forgive that. I can't. You are still friends with this person. And knowing that you stand behind what you did, I will never trust you. In are you upset capacity? that Karen's still friends with Monique? I was going to ask that question. Thank you, Andy. You are. I am. You're upset. You're not giving her the same energy. It's not, it's she not can't upsetting. Because I didn't write. It is. I didn't write a statement. It's disappointing. At this point, Ashley has said she regrets that you were hurt. Yeah. She did not think that you would be so hurt by it. So, are you able at some point to move forward? I don't know. Okay. Okay. There are still some deep-seated feelings that the only thing that may heal them is time, and so I hope you get there.